Here's the latest release in a series of DIY kits I developed in collaboration with Erica Synths, our diode ladder VCF. If you're curious about analog filter design and would like to understand the principles behind it, this should be a great starting point. Because as with all other kits in this series, the components PCB and panel are accompanied by an extensive 70-page manual that guides you through the circuit design process step by step, inviting you to follow along on a breadboard to see all of these ideas in action firsthand. From a passive single-stage low-pass to an active two-stage version with resonance, all the way up to a full-blown diode ladder filter. All you need in addition to the kit is a breadboard, two 9V batteries, a bunch of jumpers, and 9V clip connectors. And after you've worked your way through all the manual's chapters, you'll probably be in the mood for something more permanent and usable than a bunch of loose components on a breadboard. That's what the PCB and panel are for, which you can assemble into a full-blown Eurorack module. Let's take a look at what it can do. At the top, we've got the obligatory big cutoff knob, which allows you to dial in a baseline cutoff frequency. Below that, there are four mini knobs controlling resonance, CV intensity for both CV inputs and input volume. The latter doubles as a drive setting, simply because past 12 o'clock, the diodes start distorting the output signal. At the bottom, we've got a signal input, two CV inputs, and of course, a signal output. Additionally, there is one more hidden setting at the back of the module. Here, you can dial in the maximum amount of resonance that the module will produce. If you push it past a certain point, the diodes will again start distorting, making the resonance sound more gritty and wild. To test this, let's send in a plain square wave oscillation. Right now, I've got the resonance trimmer set to about 50%, which I'd consider the default value. Also, the signal input volume is just shy of starting to distort. We'll start off with no resonance dialed in and sweep the cutoff. Here's 12 o'clock. Three o'clock. And finally, self-oscillation. Now let's see what happens if I crank the hidden resonance control. In self-oscillation, the difference should be the most apparent. What was a clean sine wave before now sounds pretty harsh. And here's what happens if I dial down the resonance from there. Finally, let's hear what the filter sounds like in a traditional monosynth setup. VCO into VCF into VCA, with both of the latter controlled by an envelope generator. So that's our DIY VCF kit. If you're interested in picking one up, it's now available at select retailers. Thanks for watching and until next time. See ya.